It has been almost two months since Peru's Pedro Castillo was removed by US-backed coup from the presidency. Yet, since his removal, there has not been a single day in Peru when the protests against the unjust removal haven't occurred. For two months, that is 60 days, this is the rage of Peru against the US-backed coup. But why has the US plotted the ouster of Pedro Castillo? Why does Biden fear him? Hi and welcome to TFI Global Latin America, TFI Global's channel dedicated to the America in the Americas. I'm your host Atul Mishra. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin. US Embassy's role in the removal of Pedro Castillo has been ignored by Western media. We have covered the details of how US plotted the toppling. Link is given in the description. In the aftermath of the coup, Castillo was arrested and detained. Majority of Peruvians have recognized the coup for what it is. Since then, protests have grown and spread across the nation. They primarily want Pedro Castillo to be released from jail. Also, they want Dina Boluarte, the new president, to quit with fresh elections to be held as early as possible. And the protests are working. The constant protests made Boluarte yield to protesters' demand. She ceded and moved the polls to December 2023. But why was Pedro Castillo even removed? Castillo was Peru's hope for a stable future. He wanted to rewrite the 1993 constitution which made it vulnerable to foreign interference. Most importantly, he had proposed to nationalize the nation's mining sector. To put things in perspective, Peru is the second largest exporter of copper in the world. It has also been blessed with abundant resources like iron, lead, zinc, phosphates and manganese. This is why political establishment and the rich elite in Lima viewed Pedro Castillo as a political outsider who was unfit for a position of authority. The US viewed him as someone who'd annihilate Washington's hold on Peru's natural resources. It is important to mention here that apart from mineral resources, Peru is rich in gold and oil reserves as well. Yes, oil. Oil and US interference go hand in hand. It is clear that Castillo was the stability that Peru needed. He had the potential of building a powerful nation in the midst of a continent wrecked by foreign intervention. What remains to be seen is how the protests shape the future of Peru and what the future holds for Pedro Castillo. What do you think? Do let us know in the comments section below.